Hey guys, it's week three and I'm doing my sociology of disaster video. Um, so the first question is, what terms were the most important concepts of this week's lesson? Um, I thought that the term vulnerability seemed to be pretty important, um, and this is defined in the readings as the potential for loss. Um, one thing that the vulnerability article really talked about a lot was social vul vulnerability, and this is an as individual characteristics of people. Um, and this includes things like age, race, health, income, where they live and where they work. Um, some of the factors that influence social vulnerability are the lack of access to resources. Um, this is all written right in the article. Um, limited access to political power and representation, social capital, including social networks and connections, beliefs and customs, building stock and age, rural and physically limited individuals, and type and density of infrastructure and lifelines. Um, and the last term that I thought was important was, uh, or just last thing that I thought was really important was working with disability. Um, the one article is completely about how people with disability can respond to crises um, and what can happen. So I think that something that was important about that is being mindful that, like, I can leave my house, get in my car, and drive somewhere. For somebody else, that's not going to be as easy because if they don't have access to a wheelchair, ramps, um, if they don't have anybody to drive them, if they don't have a ta caretaker, things can be really different. Um, people who are blind or deaf, it brings up they can't read notices they can't hear the notices as well so it's um really difficult um something that was my muddiest point so i don't necessarily know if it was something that didn't make sense or it was just more or less like i kind of thought this stuff was known already um it was about the it was the article about the gender um and I don't know if it's because of coming from a psychology background and looking at that research when it comes to social psych and stuff, um, but it seemed almost like the, um, I'd already learned like men are typically more risk takers. Um, so it seems likely that like when the article reported that I knew that, um, women are usually the ones to take care of the household, um, be the ones that are said to be more nurturing and caring. So to me, it seemed like it made sense that women would be doing all of these things for the sole reason of taking care of their family and keeping their family safe. Um, so I think that was just a little bit confusing as to why it seemed like that's groundbreaking. But at the same time, like, I think it is an important research topic. And it was done in 1996, so it could have been that, I don't, I don't know, they just didn't know as much. Uh, or they didn't have all that other research that I'm referencing. Um, and then the third one, if I had to lead an in-person discussion, what is a question I would ask? So, my question would be, if you are a person in charge of letting an area know about a disaster happening. How would you go about that event so everyone would know and be prepared? Um, and this definitely comes from the fact of people with disabilities. How could you make this more accessible to other people? How could you make sure everybody knows? Um, what sort of disaster relief do you think you would do to make sure that people are prepared for a possible um, issue? And yeah, I think that's all, so thank you for watching. Bye.